Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the Aztecs, where we are working on Sunset Invasion. We're about five years into Westernization. We have another 20 years to go. And England has just declared war. Again! What do they want this time? It just says conquest. So it's a superiority war, which means it's all about battles. You can see England stacks up quite well against us. So we're going to have to build a whole bunch of units again. It's too bad I just repaid a loan because we're going to need to uh, get some more troops again. It's going to be all mercs again, just like last time. All right. It's the first time I'm recording today. It's been a week since I've played this campaign. Uh, but I do remember the general strategy was let him stand in the capital. We do have a fort, right? Yeah, let him stand in the capital. And then we'll just go smash him repeatedly until we win. How many transports do you have? 22. So he can bring a stack of 22 each time he arrives. Okay. I'm concerned that our colonial regiment will be destroyed. So I might want to pull them back. But England will just destroy them. He'll just burn down my, down my colony if I do that. Here, let's start off with the Merc up here. And we'll go siege his colony. And it's time for war with England again. Yay! Nothing else has really changed. We're still on the same leader that we started westernizing with. Uh, I've got an unrest guy. I guess I should find a discipline guy. There is no discipline guy. There's a morale of armies guy, but he's 10 ducats a month. I can't really afford that. Yeah, I can't afford 10 ducats a month. Here, let's take the army, split in half. I'll send half here. Hills, jungles. Jungles are better. You guys go to the jungles. Hills. All right, so we'll try to let him go to the capital so we can just go attack him again, and we'll recruit some mercs. Spam, spam, kill, kill, smash, smash, that sort of deal. We still don't know anything else about Europe. We have seen France sail by. France dropped off two units to go explore. France had a fleet of 40, including 32 transports and eight heavies. It was kind of a weird fleet, but he's got a lot of transports, which means he probably has a lot of uh, sea tiles. Or ports, I mean. And Sweden's still over here. He hasn't really moved. I don't know why he's just chilling here. Something's wrong. Oh, his explorer died. Okay, so his explorer died, and because the AI doesn't take any naval attrition for some reason, he's decided to leave the fleet here forever, I guess? I, I don't know why he's still here. But yeah, the explorer died, and he's just chilling. Okay, back to war. Man, England is bloodthirsty. Yeah, I can't let him win battles, so if he starts to drop troops off down here, I just need to uh, run away. Okay, go siege his colony. Oh, boy. Who knew we were so popular? But you know what? That means we can get this land back, right? We did lose our core on it. But it should be very cheap to core. Yeah, 30 points. It's fine. I wonder if English Brazil will send any troops up. Maybe. Do you guys have a big army? Let's see. English Brazil's got 3k. Yeah, they have exactly 3k. They don't really have much of an army, so I'm not worried about them. And you can tell he's sailing over because his troops are taking attrition. I wonder if he's going to show up on Mosquito's Coast. Perhaps. Are we still westernizing? Yeah, we have 20 more years. All right, get the hell out of there. Actually, just come join the army. So last time the war went pretty straightforward. I was very panicky about it. This time I'm less panicked because our tech is better. We're at nine. He's at, I think, 13? Let me check. Yeah, 13. So he's four techs ahead of us instead of six techs ahead of us. However, since he's at tech 13, that does mean he has tertios, and tertios are an extremely good unit. Way better than what we have. So he probably will fight a little better this war than he did last war. But we do have our infantry combat ability bonus from quality one, so that's kind of nice. 
Our general is a 1-2. It's not very good. Local unrest to Mosquito, that's fine. No sign of his ships yet. But it does take a while to sail over from, from England. There he is, 21k. So he's bringing a full stack. We don't know what general he has, but I guess I can check the ledger. It's a one-star general. He has a 2-2, a 4-1, and a 1-2. So he's probably using the 2-2 with 4 maneuver. And he's got a siege pip too. Yeah, I'm just going to let that go siege my capital. Uh, we're going to pull out of the colony. Take the dangerous route. And I'm not going to defend Mosquito Coast. If he wants to burn my colony, he's going to burn my colony. Westernizing and surviving is more important than one province. It's kind of the same way, like if you're going to lose a war against one of the uh, Europeans, just let them take whatever they want. Yeah, it looks like he's going straight for my capital. Perfect. So I can go back and protect my colony. Love it. All right, let's merc up. Uh, should I take some loans? Not yet. And yeah, it's the 2-2. It's his best general. So thankfully, he doesn't have an amazing general. Like, if he had a 3-5 general, I'd be in serious trouble here. I think I need to roll for a better general. And I guess I'll roll the king. Because our heir is a little better. Yeah, let's roll the king into a general. Okay, he's garbage. Should I hire a general? Can we get one from the... No, they're not loyal. Well, in a few months, we can get a general from the nobles here. Oh, I can do it right now. Hey, a 2-2. Two -two. Not bad. I wish he was better than a 2-2, two -two, but it's fine. I guess we'll fire the old guy. Okay. Yep, go to my capital, dude. And to discourage him from attacking me, I'm going to put my troops all together. Remember, this war's importance, the way you get war score in this war is all battles. It's a show supremacy war. All right, he's taking the bait. This is perfect. Now, I don't want him to go home and come back with another 22 stack before I kill this stack. So I need to kill this stack before he returns. We got to get moving. He does have a siege pip and six cannons, so I am concerned about that. Yeah, yeah, loans, whatever. And this is our reinforcement stack. Get in there and fight, maggot. I need some good rolls here. Nice, I saw a nine there. Yeah, we got him. Overall, not the not the best rolls. We rolled like we rolled the number three three times in a row. That's pretty bad. But he is on the run. And I think we'll squish him here. No, no squish. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened with that. 
I hope Paradox addresses this at some point. Basically, we fought him and there was no combat. And he gets to retreat again. And now he gets to retreat over the end of a month, so he gets a morale bonus. I don't like this at all. Yep, there's his morale bonus. We roll a 9, though. And then a 5. Yeah, we're rolling well here. 9, 5, 7. He still gets to retreat, though, but I think we'll squish him this time. Got him. Okay. That puts us at a huge advantage in war score. Uh, let's get back and just heal up. Lower morale to about half, so we can stop taking loans. And let him come back. We really didn't take that many losses. We lost 4k. Oh, here we go. He's back with 14 more soldiers. Okay, morale up. Yeah, I'm glad I killed that army quickly because here he is again. He has no cavalry left. I like it. Was oh, he going to drop troops off at the coast? Oh, that's perfect. Then I can defend and he'll have a negative two. Well, no, because he has a four maneuver guy going Galveston Bay. He's going to go unseed his stuff. Okay. He has a four maneuver general, so he'll ignore the um, embarking from ship penalty. Well, he's got a better general now. He hired a better general. What did you get? Um, is that the same guy? He says it's two stars. As far as I know, he doesn't have a two star general. I have no idea who that is. Yeah. Oh, it's his 4-1. Apparently the 4-1 has a two stars for some reason. Okay, Drylands, Drylands, jungle. You go to the hills. You go to the jungle. Looks like he wants to come fight. I'm okay with this. No, it's okay. Come fight. No? No fight? Okay. Again, it's a situation where we need to kill him before he comes back with another stack. Two. Okay, a six is better. And then a nine. Okay, we're good. Starting off with a one and a two is pretty harsh, though. But the fact that he has no cav means his shock phases are just terrible. We rolled a two, and then a one, and then a nine. Man, that nine at the start would have been would have been enough to win. There's a nine at the start. No squish, really? Huh? No squish. Okay. Take out the weakened armies, and let's go. That should be a squish. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, we're at 35 war score. For some reason, he still has high enthusiasm. Don't ask me why. Uh, I guess because the war is still early? Yeah, length of war gives him 30 enthusiasm. Okay. But that'll go down. And we're getting ticking war score for winning all these battles, too. All right, let's get back to healing up. Lower funding again. I 
I mean, this is essentially the same way the first war went, right? So it's pretty straightforward. And the good news is he's leaving our colony alone. It's actually really nice. And English Brazil has not paid us a visit yet. All right, well, your turn, England. I don't have a navy, so I can't go out there and sink his transports. Yeah, it looks like he's going to come back with another 22k or something. We'll see. He's spamming mercs now. There's got to be mercs, right? Yeah, he's at... No, he's at... Yeah, six mercs. So he is going for mercs, but maybe not spamming them. He still has some manpower. All right, he's back. Oh, he's arriving in two days. Oh, shit. I didn't realize he was back. Okay. What's up, Buttercup? Man, he's rolling well. Well, he was. He rolled two nines already. Doesn't seem to matter. You guys go heal. We'll chase him around with this army. At some point, his enthusiasm will drop, but for now, he's still excited about war. Yay, war! Squish? Yeah. High enthusiasm. Hey, Scotland's here. What up? You thinking about colonizing over here, Scotland? You know, being historical? It takes five months to travel back and forth from Europe. Okay. Oh, you mean five months one way. Gotcha. Well, it's nice to see Scotland still around, but England really did wreck them in that war that, that we saw them fight. It's too bad. Looks like Scotland had their armies trapped on Ireland for the war because they sieged the English province of the Pale. But then they lost their capital and some other provinces in the peace deal. Come on, England. He's still high enthusiasm. Goodness. 22 enthusiasm. How many mercs do you have now? Just eight. Okay, so he now has more artillery than he does infantry. That's <laughs> that's not going to be a good army, dude. Because that means he's going to have he's going to have artillery in the front line. Well, I guess we'll take war reps again. Did he rival me? He did not rifle me. Okay. I was going to think maybe... Um... Alright. We'll come back 3rd of August. Really? He can... Apparently you can disembark from Galveston Bay very swiftly. 3rd of August is so fast. Yep. 17 troops. No cav. We're rolling a one and then a two. Come on, we can roll better than that. And 
we're gonna win anyway, but okay, nine and seven, that's better. It's painful to see those ones and twos back to back. Because it means those faces of combat are hopeless. Rolling zeros, goody. All right, we got him. Squeesh. Hey, he's down to medium enthusiasm, finally. Took a while. I'm just gonna straight up merge these guys. And our colony's almost done, fantastic. He has like no army. Four infantry and one, one artillery. That's it. Six techs behind does not mean you can't fight. No, we're not six techs. We're four techs behind right now. But we were six techs the first time. Now we're four techs behind. Doesn't mean you can't fight. Just means you need, you know, good strategy. Fight in the plains on the attack. Use bigger numbers. Or fight in defense in better terrain, etc. Demand London? Yeah, we can't do that without sieging London. The way the peace deals work is if you want to take land, you have to siege at least one fort on the area where you're sieging. It can be a little bit problematic sometimes. But yeah, you can't take land over there unless you siege a fort over there. Fight some rebels, gain autonomy, or lose diplo points. Just gain some autonomy. It's one province autonomy, who cares? Hey, colony done. Beautiful. All right, move on, baby. We are one province away from the important center of trade of Panama. I can't wait. Why does the log state that we lost the battle? Uh, because the log is bugged out. I guess Paradox doesn't see it a high priority. This has been bugged for maybe a year, maybe more. When you win a battle, it says you lost. When you lose a battle, it says you win. When you win a siege, it says you lost. It's just, it's just backwards. It can't be that high priority because it's just the log. I, You know, when I watch other people play this game, no one ever uses the log. I love the log because it helps me keep track of what's going on. Well, he's murked up. 11 mercs. I assume he's coming back for another round. Round three. Fight! Okay, colonists arrive, very good. What are England's ideas? Probably exploration expansion, let me check. Exploration, economic, and quantity. Interesting. I don't really get the economic. He doesn't have any gold mines. Doesn't really need to have that. But so be it. He's at 16 enthusiasm. Oh, he colonized some more land. Well, that's nice. I don't think I want to steal this colony. I guess I'll burn it down. I'm definitely taking Coahuilteco because uh, it's part of the region over here, the state. Right, he's back. Yeah, I'll just burn this down. Oh, he's coming to attack me. Lol? Okay. You're going to take a river crossing to attack into an army that's beat you tons of times already? Hey, you're welcome to it. He's going to win. He won a battle. It's amazing. And now he's going to lose a battle. Silly English, don't you ever learn... Wow, I rolled a zero and then a one back to back. And then a zero. Zero, one, zero. 
these rolls, though. Alright, this should be a squish, I think. Well, no, he did get the end of the month bonus. He'll still squish. No, wait, no, we rolled a one. Oh, no, it's a nine. Yeah, maybe. No, no, maybe not. All right. Ping pong time. Everybody likes ping pong time. There we go. All right, he should be at low enthusiasm any day now. I mean, he still has an army, technically, but he's pretty much lost. Five enthusiasm. Okay. Get wrecked, son. There's good event chains in economic. Yeah, there are. I like economic. We'll probably take it because of our gold mines. But England doesn't have gold mines, so I don't really think he needs economic. I don't know. I shouldn't complain about the AI's poor decision making. Because it's better for me. His enthusiasm went up. He was at 5 enthusiasm, and now he's at 8. It's a little strange. Playing EU after Stellaris release, the ultimate hipster. Ah, I was playing Stellaris this morning. I simply want to get this achievement. I think this is a very fun achievement to get because it has a lot of difficulty involved and a lot of patience involved. And most people don't really have the stomach for the difficulties that are in this game. So anything that's tough, I enjoy. And the patience is something that I have in spades. I can sit back, relax, slurp my coffee, and just play the game. I love staring at maps. I absolutely love staring at maps. When I was a kid, I loved reading encyclopedias and looking up historical empires, historical wars, you know, stuff that has maps on the pages. And in the same way with the video games. His enthusiasm keeps going back up to eight. Now it's at nine. Oh, it's because he's building his army back up. How many mercs do you have? 15 mercs. Come on. 15 mercs, England. Get over it. You know, he may not even come back. He may have just given up. got a decent army now. Probably doesn't matter. We've only gone through half of our manpower in this war. He's back! He's arriving on the 18th of September. Okay. And this is his one-star general. That means he's a 2-2-4. Two, two, so he'll have four maneuver. I don't think he'll take the penalty for offloading troops. So he won't have a defensive bonus here, I don't think. But still worth it for defending here. We should be fine. What up, Buttercup? How's it hanging? I mean, if you were England, wouldn't you just, like, move on to bigger and better stuff? You know what's surprising? What's surprising is France or Scotland or nobody has declared war on this guy. He's so weak right now. He's so weak right now. How many loans does he have? 
England. There you are. He's got six loans. Come on, someone's got to declare on him, right? Oh, there's an insta squish. That was fun. Hey, he's at low enthusiasm. Finally. All right, let's talk. I want this. Uh, oh, I can take his lands in South America. I can take Bermuda. I don't even know about Bermuda, but I'll take it. Okay. That's literally all I can take. I'll take war reps for sure. I don't care about your treaties. Oh, he's allied to Sweden? Yeah, break that. Release nations. Northumberland would be fun. That would give Scotland a chance to survive. Yeah, we can't do anything because we haven't sieged anything over there. That's the problem. You gotta siege forts to actually make him do that stuff. I guess we'll just make him get rid of alliances. Yeah, there you go. Got some cash on you? He's got some cash too. All right, done. We'll take all of his money. We'll take his lands and we'll take Bermuda. I don't even know where Bermuda is, but I'll take it. No, we can't take more land. This stuff down here, we can't take because there's a, a capital there. And we can't demand it without sieging the capital. Same thing with taking any land over here. We can't take anything because we can't siege anything. That's the best we can do. All right. Hello, Bermuda. Protestant. Gross. Not sure if taking that was a good or a bad idea. I'll try to get the unrest down, but we are westernizing, and they are the wrong culture and the wrong religion, so we'll probably get a revolt, and it'll probably just flip right back to England. But we'll give it a shot. I can't I can't sail ships over there. Well, hey, there we go. War with England is complete. So why don't we call this an episode? Thanks for watching. I've been Shen, you've been you. Second war with Europe, complete success. Great success. We can repay a loan as well. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.